Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip. In this one we're going to be showing you a couple of ways of getting a certain synth sound to trigger another one. Um, so I'm just going to begin by uh, let's drop in a drum loop here. Okay, that one will do. And then the first thing I'm going to do is get our MIDI clip. I'm just going to drag in a synth to play on this MIDI clip. I'm just going to drop in a silent. And I'm just going to select a bass line from here. I'm just going to click the Moog bass. That'll do. And if we just program in a couple notes. Okay, now what we're going to do is get this bass to trigger um, like a synth track, another synth track. So if we insert another MIDI, MIDI clip, and if we drag in another silent, and if we pick something like, get like a lead sound here, and we'll have it playing one single note. But you could, for instance, put in like keys here, maybe, maybe like a chord, and have it playing around. <laughs> Pick something a bit less. Okay, so we want this uh, sound and this synth here to trigger from this bass line. And one quick way that we could do that is by using a git. And if we just drop a git onto the sound that we want to trigger, and if we just turn the uh, the extra parameters on here by clicking this wee triangle and turn the side chain on and if we go down and pick our second track here which is this one and uh, which has our bass line on it and now once we hit play that's now going to play alongside our bass line and you can move around the attack and the release times just to suit and another way of doing this um, if I just I'll just duplicate up this track and I'll get rid of the gate on this one. Um, a different way we can do this is by using a compressor. And we actually need um, another track to make this happen because we need to actually reverse the compressor in this case. So if we um, let's move this one out of the way, we'll rename this one just so we remember what it is. This is our gate version. And we'll call this one our uh, compressor version and then in this extra audio track that we created we just want to put in some want to put in some white noise so if we just it's going to get a white noise sample here see if we can find one Okay, so we've got some white noise here. And if I go into that track and if I click on a compressor and drop it onto that white noise track, um, we'll just make sure, we'll turn the volume down in this and play it. Just make sure it's looping round as it is. So it's just got that white noise playing constant. And if we go into a compressor that's on there, expand that out and hit the side chain function. And we're going to click on our silent, which has our bass line on it. Rename this, make it a bit more obvious. So if we go into the white noise, select our bass track. And if we bring the threshold back on this, and we'll turn the ratio up right full. So just make it very severe. We'll turn the attack right down to zero and keep the release quite short. 
So we have that white noise playing. And if we just turn the volume right down in the white noise, we don't want to hear it at all. We're actually going to use this white noise to trigger the compressor on um, this, uh, this, this uh, compressor version over here. So we need to drop in another compressor on this one. So we've got our gate one here, and this is going to be our compressor version. And in this compressor, instead of taking this, the bass line, we want to take the white noise, which is this audio track three here. So let's call it white. And if we go in to our compressor, and we click on white noise track, and then if we bring this down, we've now got the, the compressed, the sidechain compressed version of the white noise compressing this. So in theory, this should trigger almost like the gate, but it's gonna have more of a bend to it. It's not gonna be quite as abrupt as the gate. So it's almost like a reversed sidechain. So it just gives you a bit more control over the actual sound itself. So if we flick back and forth between the two different versions. So that's the gated version there. And then the sidechain version. version and you could try and emulate the, uh, the compressor version by increasing the release time on the gate but it's not going to be quite the same so it just depends what type of sound you're looking for okay so i hope this tech tip helped you out a bit and i'll see you again in the next tutorial